All right, guys, it's time for your second art project. And what we're doing is we're making instrument collages in the style of an artist named Romare Bearden. Um, and you'll be learning about him later on in this project. And he grew up in a part of the city that jazz music started out in. And so um, a lot of his artwork deals with um, instruments and musicians um, during the jazz era. So we're using jazz inspired music and instruments to make our collages. Um, and they're going to be really fun, and we're going to even get to do our own homemade scratch art, which is really fun. So, um, I want you to enjoy these, take your time, make them look really cool. Um, these are something you're going to be proud of, alright? And I can't wait to see you all soon, so here we're going to get started on step one. Alright guys, so for um, the background of our musical instrument, we're going to actually listen to music and make our artwork. Um, along with the music. So, um, Miss Dawes is going to play six different songs for you, and after each song, you can switch colors of crayon. And what you're going to do is you're going to listen to the music and you're going to draw along with the music. So, example, if the music's slow, you know, you might want to you're just kind of draw lines, you know, kind of move your arm, pretend like you're listening to the music, like your arm's going along with the music. It's not really going to make any sense. It's going to look like a bunch of lines. So for a slow song, you know, you might want to move your arms slow. Pretend like the crayons making the music. You'll listen to each song for about a minute. Okay? This is just an example. So then when that song ends, she'll pause the music. You have time to get another crayon out. And then she'll play the next song. So let's say the next song is like more energetic and you might want to do more jagged lines. You might want to go faster, however it is that you feel like the music is telling your hand to move. So you're going to do this six times. You'll have six different colors and six different lines that match the music. So I'm going to continue to do mine, and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. All right, so now I have all my lines on here. I've listened to six different songs. Um, I made different lines um, depending on how the music sounded. So it's kind of abstract and crazy, so it's going to look really cool. Um, and this actually shows something we call in art um, rhythm and movement. So you can actually see movement in the crayons by the way the lines are moving around um, on the paper. And also it has a rhythm um, by the way that we made it go along with the music. So um, rhythm and movement usually occur in music, but they also happen in art. So you can kind of almost see the movement and rhythm of the music that you listen to. So we made um, an abstract background that shows movement and rhythm. So now we're going to go on and we're going to paint this abstractly for our next step. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our pan watercolors. And we should all know how to use these by now because we're in third grade. Um, remember not to mix them together in here. Every time you switch colors, you want to um, rinse your brush out. So what you're going to do is you can paint this however you want to. You don't have to fill it all the way up. Um, uh, you might want to just paint circles, shapes, blobs, whatever you want to do. Just to add some color to it. You can paint the whole thing one color, two colors, you can do stripes. You're just going to fill it up with color. Just add some more color in those white spaces. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. So, you can see I'm kind of doing some polka dot top type painting. And this is going to be the background that our instruments are on. So it doesn't really need to look like anything. We just want to make it really pretty. So it's up to you how you want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and paint mine. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So be creative and make it look really pretty. All right, so now I have my background painted on top of my abstract lines. Um, you can see it's pretty colorful. I kind of did it however I wanted. I did polka dots, um, big and small ones, but you can do stripes, um, blocks of color. You can smear everything together, whatever you want to do. Um, and so now we're going to work on um, the next step, which is making our own homemade scratch paper to make our instrument. Alright, so we're going to make, um, for our next step, homemade scratch paper, like scratch art, where it's black and you scratch through it and you can see colors. 
So to do that, we're going to use a sheet of white paper and your oil pastels. Um, and what you do is you need to make sure you press down really hard and thick and don't leave any white space showing or else it won't work. Okay. So start in the middle. And what I did is I kind of made like a little circle area. You're kind of making like something that looks kind of tie-dye-ish. You can do rainbow, you can do, it doesn't matter which colors you put together. I'm just going to keep going around and around this little circle area until your whole paper is covered and there's no white showing. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like and then I'll show you how to um, add the paint to make a scratch art. Alright, so now I filled up my whole paper with the oil pastel. Um, you can see I did it um, really nice and thick and neat. You don't see any white showing through. So I didn't scribble scrabble and um, I pressed down nice and hard. So the color is really bright and thick, okay? So this has to be done this way for the scratch art to work. So um, now we're gonna move on to adding the black paint on top to make our scratch paper. All right, to finish our scratch paper, we're going to use um, black acrylic paint. And you're just gonna take your brush, mine's just a little bit different than yours, and you're gonna completely cover the entire paper that you just made and then it's gonna dry, and then we'll be able to use it as scratch paper. So see how I'm covering it all the way up? We're gonna do the whole thing, all right? All right, so now that the black paint has dried, you have scratch art paper. We made it from scratch, so it's pretty cool. Um, and so you're going to have a worksheet or two at your table of different instruments. And by now you've already learned about the artist Romer Bearden. And so what he did is he painted his culture in the, um, the jazz movement. Um, they played jazz instruments and played at clubs and did lots of jazz type music back when he was alive. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick an instrument, and when I think of um, jazz, I always think of a saxophone, so that's the one I'm going to choose. But you have worksheets where you can choose whichever one you want to do. And so um, you're going to have your own scratch tools. This is all I have here at my house. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw your instrument, scratch it out on the scratch paper. But this is something you can't, like if you mess up, we can't redo this, okay? You might be able to put some more black paint on it. That might work. Um, but try to just work with your mistakes. So I'm going to start and you're just going to kind of scrape the black paint off. And you can see the colors are showing through underneath. It's really cool. So I'm just drawing. I want to draw. I want to make my instrument really big. finish drawing my saxophone and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it next. Alright guys, so now I have my um, instrument scratched out of my scratch paper. I love how it turned out. It's really cool. It looks like a rainbow. You can see it really well. Um, I made, I went back and scratched um, thicker lines so you could see everything better. And then I added some music notes too if you want to do that. Okay. So make sure it's nice and big and the lines are thick so you can see the pretty colors. And our next step is we're going to cut this out, but you're going to leave a little bit of the black space around the instrument. And the same thing with the music notes. You don't want to cut right up against the rainbow for this part. You can get kind of close. Cutting it out. Make it nice and neat. Oops, 
scissors started making the rainbow colors. instrument cut out and next I'm going to cut out my music notes and then you're going to choose a sheet of neon paper and you're going to cover the whole back with glue and glue it onto there and you're going to do the same thing where you cut around but leaving some of that color showing so I'm going to do all that and show you what that's going to look like. Alright guys so I've got my pieces cut out here's my saxophone and I used some of these little music notes and what we're going to do next is we're going to glue this down um, remember to cover everything with glue, the entire back side of stuff, and you're going to glue this onto your watercolor paper that you did, and you can put your music notes kind of wherever you want them, and that's our next step, and then we got one more step after this before we're done with these, all right. All right, so now I've got my instrument glued down and my notes glued down, so it looks really cool and colorful. And you can almost like hear the music just by looking at it. <laughs> so what you're going to do now is you're going to take this sheet and you're going to glue it really good around the edges, okay? You can put a little bit in the middle too, but the edges are the main thing we're worried about. And I like to do an X like that kind of. Make sure those edges are really good and sticky. And you're going to glue it down in the middle of this black paper that you're going to get, okay? You want to press, make sure it's staying on good. You can also use white glue for this too if you want. Oops, lost the music there. All right, so we kind of made a border around it. And you're gonna have worksheets that have music notes on them that you're going to get. And so you're gonna use a white oil pastel to draw music notes around, okay? So just however you want them, whichever ones you want. I'm not Miss Tucker, I don't know much about music, but I know some things. You're gonna fill up the border with these cool music notes, okay? And I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you the finished thing. All right guys, so here's the finished thing. Um, I hope that's been fun for you. You've learned about movement and rhythm and how to make lines look musical and show movement and rhythm in art. And we've learned about instruments and Romare Bearden and jazz and music notes. So this is the full finished collage and um, I think they look pretty cool and I thought it was fun so I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, and I can't wait to see these when I get back and you all.